Okay, next week. So, what are we going to do? Okay, I'm confused. It was a silver tongue. It's a spell. It's called Silver Tongue. But I don't think it's in my list quite yet. Because this is Alphabet Quarter. Saving Face, Solid Demeanor, Fear of Resistance, Stunning Transformation, Sunshot, Sweet Dreams, The Smile, Unmask. Yeah. So I don't see it on this list quite yet. I'm not sure why. Maybe I don't have one of the themes for it. That's... That kind of sucks. Okay, well, I guess we'll just continue bringing up Flattery the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's try Selective Focus. I, I'm not exactly sure what that'll do, but... It should be useful, I would assume. So we'll use that on Flattery and see what happens. I mean, you only learn by doing, right? Okay, you temporarily decrease Flattery's train modifier down by one. Okay, so instead of needing two, two skill steps to bring up Flattery, it's now zero. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but okay. <laughs> um, Tallulah, use Compute. Uh, you have Gain Sight Precedent which increases bonus law ability and bonus law action. And you have lost selective focus. That is fine. Uh, anyone do anything interesting? Not really. Okay, so let's uh, bring up flattery then and see how that works out. You're exploring near some fallen logs for a type of moss you need as an ingredient for a potion you're working on. However, in your concentration to find the ingredients, you are a bit careless and you forget to watch where you're going. Your foot slips on a wet patch of moss and you feel yourself sliding into a deep hole. Endurance. Fall in. It won't hurt too much, you hope. Observation. Look for something to grab onto. Or acrobatics. Stop yourself from falling. Uh... Observation. You glance around and spot a low-hanging branch that you could reach with some effort. Which, I'm assuming brought up acrobatics, but not enough to make it a good color. Endurance, I guess. Your foot slips and you allow yourself to tumble into the hole. You sit up, glad to see that the fall wasn't too bad, and notice several yellow blossoms uh, glowing near the entrance of the hole. You pick them before climbing out. When you show them to Professor Leaf, you learn that you have found a rare ingredient that will boost the effectiveness of any potion they're mixed into. Okay, sure. That's cool. Ah, he's the enchantment teacher, I see. I forgot to check items. I keep doing that. I'm a terrible person. Okay, so I brought up Flattery to 9. Uh, you increase lock picking. But sure, that's a skill. You have added one yellow blith blossom to yourself. Uh, Avalyn succeeded at using defame on Godina. Good for her. <laughs> Remember when she used that skill in our college? Those were the days. Remember, make friends of your enemies. Make them do terrible things for you. Uh, anything else interesting? No, not quite. Oh, I don't think we're last place in the race anymore. Yay! Items. Right. The captain's old militia. You have no information on this item, and you have no information on this item. Awesome. So I guess we want to learn about those items and see how they can help us. Was it trial and error? Yeah. The captain's old militia badge. Let's see. Uh, history, we've learned about a few things. 
Pray for guidance to yourself. Increase bonus to abilities and actions. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we learned about the badge. Uh, it increases both leadership and hide by one point. That's not bad. Uh, to a competed and gain pray for guidance. Doesn't look like anyone has done anything interesting quite yet. And we're already like halfway through the week. Oh, there's a holiday this week as well. That's nice. Oh, leave as is. Uh, Exignia? Yay, it goes into a spot that's not already taken up by something. So, yeah, leadership and hide goes up. That's somewhat useful. I can learn about those flowers. Let's see. What's my flattery at? Let's bring up flattery before this, um, uh, that selective focus, uh, disappears. Nice boots, Rune, uh, shouts, uh, Krillo Laziosi as he walks by. This is the gambling, uh, character. Student. The gambling student. <laughs> Bit odd, but whatever. Um... That's the third compliment that you've received on your boots today. You don't know why everyone likes them so much. All you did was polish them. You've cast a storm of invisible on them twice, hoping the negation spell will reveal whether someone had put a spell on them, but alas, you discover no magic. You shrug it off and continue your leisurely stroll around Academagia's campus. Just as you pass the stone of Noema, the heels of your gorgeous newly polished Compliment winning boots suddenly collapse. You are about to fall. What do you do? Do nothing and take the fall. <laughs> uh, observation, look for something to break your fall. Acrobatics, catch yourself. Acrobatics is showing up a bit. Uh, as you start to fall, you look around for something that might break your fall. While the ground will certainly break your fall, it might also break your neck. You hope to find something softer. Fortunately, you spot a small bush just off the side of the path that might break your fall, and it's definitely softer than the ground. Unless there's thorns in it. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is not great. Uh, I guess acrobatics. Worst that will happen is we'll die. Break our neck and die. What are we doing on our vitality and stuff? Eh, one of these days we should probably... Oh, I have... I need to double-check my items in a second. You can hide two, and I have three. Okay. You extend your arms and point your hands downward. When your palms hit the path, you're able to use them for leverage and prevent the rest of your body from crashing into the ground. It's remarkable that your hands, wrists, and arms escape the ordeal unharmed. You also prevent your ropes from getting soiled. After brushing the dirt from your palms, you continue with your leisurely stroll. Well, we succeeded at a red. That's always nice. You have learned mind to erase. Ah, oh, it's sound like a spell. <laughs> okay, so flattery is up at ten. We've also learned about knots, apparently. Uh, you temporarily increased your revision methods. You increased uh, your flawless timing. And you increased your composure skill by one. Okay, so flattery is up. Um, I guess... Hmm. Well, nothing here says... Yeah, that's weird. This is the only thing I added to myself. So why is concealment a problem? Is it the flowers? It's the flowers. Interesting. Huh. Well, we'll keep them on me and let's just find out what they do. I mean, we have a good idea what they do. Okay, so Saturday, Sunday, and then holiday. Hmm. Let's see. Anything new? Learned about the flower. Increase your brew and chemistry skills by one point for four days at a time. Oh. 
Okay. Take a look at that later. Uh, Morvidius College has impressed Legate Orso Orsi and has awarded them with special privileges. Damn, that was quick. Feels like they won like a couple days ago. Study your rivals. Who are your rivals, Casper? Okay, it is the weekend. We have flattery up, so we should be able to continue with the next part of Prudence's adventure. I didn't think this through. I don't know what else I should be raising up. Oh, let's let's look at my skills for a second. So I can bring up the theory of negation. I'll get me to like level thirteen in uh negation. Uh should I start looking into mastery? I mean that's not mm. Mm. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Uh I think I need to ring up flawless timing. That sounds like something I need to do. Hold on, let me check my notes. Okay, so it looks like I need to raise dedication up, so we'll do that. With, of course, our favorite library of Longshade. Mm. And then we're going to do a venture. And what is this next one called? The party planners. There we go. Sometime, somehow I have no problem fighting Prudence's adventures. Any other one takes me ages to find. Alright, let's get through Saturday. I did not save. Oh well. <laughs> uh, oh, this is not good. It was green, and I don't see a green option here. Which means it's probably behind... One of these other ones, huh? Probably character study. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Thrilled with your latest victory, you and Prudence decide to check out the venue where you'll be hold holding your meeting. When you open the door, Prudence gasps. You're horrified. The room is decorated as though it's a rimball sanctuary. Actually, no, that would be too uh, complimentary, considering rimball can be enjoyable. It's more of a cutthroat, competitive, it's us or them vibe that has been permanently affixed to this place. And the smell? Ye gods. The smell. Every time you inhale, you can almost swear someone's holding an invisible dirty sock right up against your nostrils. The floor looks as though it hasn't been swept since Academagia first opened its doors. In between the paintings of Rinball teams are posters that say, Winning is everything. Never trust anyone outside the team. And losing makes you a loser. Damn. <laughs> this is a bit much, but okay. Uh, upon closer examination, you notice a list of student names. On two of the posters, one note the most popular, and the other, well, the other one lists the least popular. Who does that? Prudence says, a sneer forming on her face. That sneer soon turns into a smile. Ah, I see I'm the seventh on the least popular list, she said proudly. Not bad for a first year. She sighs, although I suppose we'll have to redecorate, I mean. I don't care about these silly posters, but I think they'll damage the atmosphere of our meeting, you know? You agree and try to pry off the most popular list off the wall, but you can't. Prudence then tries. Ugh, she says. They must be enchanted. How will we get them off? Character study, yes, Prudence. Perhaps Prudence will know what to do. After all, she's tough smart, and smart. When you ask, she seems almost shy. I don't know, she murmurs. Why don't you solve it? You press her, saying that she must know something, but she retreats further into silence. Good God, she says, snapping a little. Think of something yourself. She then refuses to say any more. Okay. I'm going to use uh, Brute Strength and see what happens. You're sure that the Rimball... Uh, fanatics either created a strong spell or brewed some super glue to make their posters stick like that to the wall, but no matter what magical means those jocks use, you bet your physical strength is more than enough to overpower it. You'll just have to try harder. Uh, you grab the corners of the nearest poster and pull as hard as you can. Prudence laughs. You look constipated. <laughs> you ignore her. 
Uh, you ignore her and try some more. Though you don't want to admit it, you simply cannot pull these posters off. Prudence sighs. Well, we'll have to think of something else. The room is unsuitable for our meeting as it is now. You're lying in bed trying to catch up on lost sleep and you're thirsty. The classic scenario, the cup of water by your bed is empty and the baths are so far away and your bed is so warm. You sigh and nestle down further into the blankets. Maybe you could spell up some water. What could go wrong? Well, just skip it and try to sleep or incantation fiends. Creating water is about as basic as it gets. Well, this might go wrong. You fish your wand out from beneath your pillow and yawning hugely, muttering the words you think they're the words. You're pretty sleepy. You tap the wand against the cup and you hear liquid pouring into the glass. Excellent. You take a big swig. Ugh. Syrup. <laughs> oh my god. Well. That was an interesting day.